Well, we've been talking about seeing a lot of this warmer temperatures push in by this weekend. Now we're dealing with some westerly flow and that's pushing a lot of moisture in. We've seen those frosty mornings all week, but we've also seen a lot more dry conditions for about a week, if not seeing some stormier conditions to kick off this holiday weekend. As it starts to wrap up, though, we're watching those temperatures go back and forth between those below freezing temperatures, jump about 30 degrees up into those 60s. Now we're beginning that cool down. Now we can see it kind of go back and forth as we start to see some of that evening moisture make its way back in, but we're definitely making our way back down into those freezing levels before we jump back up into those 70s all weekend. Right now we're looking at 39 here in San Angelo. Everybody else joining us in those 30s and we look across the entire area. Now we're only a couple of degrees apart, but some of those some areas still holding on to some of those 40s. A lot of that moisture just continuing to move through in different pockets and waves and we're starting to see it break up as we're starting to see the upper level pattern kind of get mixed up as we're watching lower pressure systems push through. Again, this high pressure really giving it a hard time as it makes its way over the Rocky Mountains, letting us know that this cold air is very dense in nature. Now we're seeing those humidity values return nearly tripling from where they were this afternoon, but those uh, dew points still remaining below the freezing level. So still seeing a good opportunity for a lot of AM frost as we continue to make our way towards the end of 2023 and beginning 2024, where we can see waves of more moisture making its way. And now the upper level moisture pattern really kind of showing us where those pockets are. And we see it kind of making its way in from the Gulf Coast. Believe it or not, we're seeing a lot of that southerly flow in those evening hours. Now that's what's causing the frost, but we're starting to see this giant pattern make its way through. This low pressure system is the one that's going to give us the problem as we make our way towards the weekend where we're going to see this high pressure kind of push in with this ridging. Now that's going to keep those temperatures cold, but we're going to start seeing waves of moisture start to make their way in from the west. Again, this is more of a transition season where we're seeing strong troughing than good ridging. Then again, this strong troughing and this low pressure system right here. This is what has our attention kind of interested because we're going to see some pretty interesting development as it makes its way down the west coast across the Sierra Madres and could form in the Gulf on the other side of it. Right now, this little pocket of moisture going to continue to make its way across the really the Great Plains as it makes its way down the Rocky Mountain Front Range. But again, look at this split flow off the West Coast. They're about to see three feet of snow. This is a lot of moisture making its way in as it continues to make its way across the Rocky Mountains. Now, off the East Coast, they're still dealing with waves and waves of snow as we continue to see more make its way down from Canada. And of course, we're watching this trough make its way across the Rocky Mountains, then get caught up in a lot of the circulation, making a pretty interesting sort of cold pocket of air, but there's that low pressure system we were talking about that's going to make its way in off the Rocky Mountains. That's the one we're looking at towards the middle of next week. That is where we can see a good opportunity to see some of those rain chances push in about those early morning hours, if not those late afternoons, sort of during that transition season. And then we're going to start to see some of those colder temperatures push in. Now tonight, we're dropping back down again into those upper 20s. Could see it get a little colder. That's where we're talking about that frost. And tomorrow, under that high pressure, we're really going to jump up into those lower 70s. And that's where we're going to stay well towards the end of 2023. So at least it's going to be warm, but overnight we're going to drop about good 40 degrees into those freezing temperatures. Then by 2024, Monday, the first week of January, we're going to see those cold temperatures return where we start to see those rain chances increase as we get closer and closer to wrapping up that first week of January. Stay tuned. We'll have more after the break. You're watching KSN News at 10.